Hey everyone, this is Jordan from SleekLens.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to make a panorama photo directly from Camera Raw. This is a great feature if you want to get as much data to play with as possible, but you still want to make a, a cool panoramic image and not go all the way into Lightroom. This is the way to do it and I'll show you how right now. So as you can see here on my screen, I got a couple panorama images. Uh, I got about seven here. I probably should have taken just to just thinking about it. I probably should have taken one more on each side just to have more room to play with but I didn't and so this is what I got right now so I'm just gonna drag these into Photoshop and it will automatically open them in camera raw so now you can see I got all of my photos here that I can uh, kind of scroll through and see see exactly what I have how I'm gonna make the panoramic image in camera raw is very simple and it's actually the same feature that you would use if you're gonna make an HDR image in, in camera raw so I'm just gonna go ahead and select all the photos and I'm gonna click this little menu up here this kind of hidden little menu I'm just gonna click that and say merge to panorama alright so camera raw is gonna give me a small preview window here it's actually very small so I'm just gonna enlarge it here so I can see what I'm working with so that's it it stitched everything fairly well just looking at the preview everything looks pretty straight here and so I just need to get rid of the uh, the the uh, around surrounding area that's kind of blank and there's a couple ways to do this you can do an auto crop which is automatically taking it away just cropping in to uh, to go ahead and straighten out the image for you or you can do boundary warp which is my favorite part because it doesn't get rid of any of the image like the cropping does so I'm just gonna go ahead and bump this all the way to 100 and see what happens and as you can see, looks pretty good. We got a little bit of bowing here, but not too bad a shape at all. And so uh, I like the way that looks. You can also play with the projection options here, uh, but usually uh, spherical works for pretty much all circumstances. Uh, there's a couple where cylindrical might work, and then uh, perspective usually works for uh, real estate. Uh, but I usually keep it on spherical because it just turns out to be uh, the better option. So I'm going to go ahead and hit merge. And so it'll bring up a, another dialog box here will, where it'll ask me where to save the, uh, the DNG file for it. So I'm going to go ahead and just pop it over here click save and then wait for it to go ahead and generate the final image alright so there we go we got the final image down here you can see uh, we still have our originals here so if we do not like the way this works just by chance uh, we can go ahead and delete that DNG file and go ahead and select these all and do it all again uh, but from here we can play with all the normal options we would do in uh, in camera raw so I can bump up the shadows knock down the highlights take the exposure up a little bit play with the vibrance and I'm just doing a quick edit so just so you can see uh, the kind of power that you can have in Camera Raw uh, with a panoramic image. So I'm just going to take the warmth up, take the magenta up a little bit, and uh, that's that's pretty much it. I, I think that's I'm just going to leave it at that just so you can see see what we have so that was a very quick and easy way to create a panoramic image in Adobe Camera Raw straight there straight with uh, Camera Raw not even going into Photoshop and you can actually save your file to a JPEG a TIFF anything directly from here so it makes a really great option if you uh, aren't familiar with Photoshop and just want to uh, to make it really quickly so hope you enjoyed that quick video thank you for joining me in this video and I'll catch you in the next one